cryptography has been militaristically necessary ever since written language has existed. One method, employed by the ancient Spartans around 400 BCE, involved a cylindrical staff-like object called a cytale that was used to decrypt messages when they were wrapped around it. Other ancient civilizations used similar techniques, though they did not necessarily require a device to decrypt messages. For example, Julius Caesar used a cipher in which he sh shifted a letter's position over three, so A would become D, D would become G, and so on. Cryptographic precautions are necessary because when sending sensitive messages, if the messenger is intercepted, it could ruin a battle. However, though it's not so true with the ancients, recent times have brought about cryptologists. These people study codes and try to break them. When a message is intercepted, it is given to cryptologists to decrypt. Cryptography has played a vital role throughout military history. During the Civil War, both sides were applying cryptography to their messages. The Confederate Army used simple substitution ciphers, which were easily broken by the Union. The Union, on the other hand, used keyword transposition ciphers, in which the letters of a message are shifted around as per a prior definition. These messages gave the Confederate Army trouble, and they even published some of the messages in newspapers in hopes that their readers would have better luck. Much later in the course of history, cryptography hadn't advanced too much. During World War I, the belligerents used cipher cryptography and codes at the higher levels, but did not advance the science very much. In the 1920s, however, rotor cipher machines, RCMs, were invented. These machines were a huge advancement and became the precursors to machines used in World War II. The famous Zimmerman telegram was intercepted by the British. Uh, it was being sent from Germany to Mexico, and, and, and it was offering Mexico uh, a portion of uh, America if they would assist in waging submarine warfare. Uh, the interception of this telegram, when it was, uh, the Americans were persuaded that it was genuine, helped to uh, get America into World War I, which was, of course, pivotal in the Allied victory. Later in World War II, the uh, Allies intercepted the Japanese uh, messages around the time of the Battle of Midway, and, and this enabled the, uh, the Pacific Fleet to position itself uh, surrounding the Japanese, knowing exactly where the Japanese were, and to attack and win that decisive battle of the Pacific during World War II. The Japanese, however, did not know that their machines had been broken. This was perhaps the smartest move on the Allies' part. The Japanese continued to send messages encrypted with these obsolete machines, and the Allies continued to break them. The Germans had their own cryptographic technology. Their most famous machine is the electrical RCM dubbed Enigma. In 1932, Polish cryptologists successfully broke their machine. In 1939, British and French intelligence began to break Enigma messages further, enabling them to gather key German intelligence. Cryptography provides a serious tactical advantage, since with it, an army can completely conceal its plans and possibly know the enemies. Without cryptography, given its profound effect on wars, what would the course of history look like? <laughs>